Hi, I'm Lee Brakeem at Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We have another great lineup tonight. We've got great guests. We've got Christian Bourgeois is coming up first. Who's uh, We're going to talk about his business and his former uh, playing days at LSU with the baseball program and sound them all and also coached at East Ascension at one point in his career. We've got the head football coach at McNeese State. We also have the head football coach from Evangel Christian in Shreveport and his star quarterback. We're going to introduce all of these great guys in just a moment. You're watching Louisiana Football TV Magazine. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief Windows! Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Yeah. Frog drain. Call Roto-Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. Louisiana Office Solutions Company is the complete answer for all your office products and janitorial supply needs. From supplies for school or your home office, to styrofoam cups for your restaurant, to pallets of paper and cleaning supplies for your business. Choose from a large selection of furniture from chairs to desks for office or home, traditional and contemporary styles, or work with our design team to create a complete furniture layout for your building. So call or come by Louisiana Office Solutions Company on Florida at Lobdell, where everyone is welcome. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Welcome back to Louisiana Football TV Magazine. I want to promote our magazines from this past year. If you're watching in Louisiana or locally in Baton Rouge or Gonzales or the metro area here, our South Louisiana Magazine's on the left. On the right is our North Louisiana Magazine. It splits the state in two. If you can't find a magazine for some reason and your mom and dad watching tonight or a grandparent or, rel or just a sports enthusiast, all the high schools are promoted in the state, all the colleges. You can go to our website, LAFootballMagazine.com, to order the magazine. We are already working on our 219 preview, which will be 23 years uh, as a family to uh, put out our preview for Louisiana. We're excited about that. We're trying to figure out where we're going to do the, the cover shoot for South and North. We always do it at a different school every year in the state. But I want to go ahead and introduce someone who actually is a part of our magazine, a sponsor, and, and has a great business. Christian Bourgeois. Christian, thank you for joining us. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me. You own Bourgeois Physical Therapy and Sports Rehab. That's right. And tell everybody that, that is in the Baton Rouge area and Gonzales and Ascension Parish where they can find you. And, and I mean, you're on the cutting edge as one of the young top PTs in Baton Rouge, the Gonzales area. So. Yeah, well, we're located in Prairieville. Um, so what happened was we purchased an old daycare. We renovated, put in a lot of hard work to just go ahead and um, build the, the business that I wanted to build. I wanted to be able to do physical therapy a certain way, and um, I've been able to do that. So You're hands-on with a lot of athletes. Yes. You see, I've noticed you've got soccer players, you've got softball, football. A lot of East Ascension football players come mm -hmm. to see you. Yeah, we've had a number of East Ascension football players. We've had a lot of athletes from Santa Mo High as well. And we've had some athletes from Dutchtown. So that's one of the things we're trying to specialize in is providing just great care to a lot of these young athletes. Um, 
because I was an athlete and I know what they're going through and they're just fun to work with. And getting to that, that, that lets me go into your background. If I was an athlete, I would want to come to you because you played baseball mm -hmm. at the highest level. You went to LSU and played for the legendary Skip Bertman. Sure did, yep. You signed as a uh, first baseman, but you ended up playing outfield. You know how that works in college. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> I'm not I'm not six three, two hundred something pounds, right. five eleven. I uh, went first practice at first base, and <laughs> coach kind of pulled me aside and said, "Hey, look, you're too fast to play first <laughs> base. We're gonna put you in the outfield." And so after the that, rest I moved was to the rest was history. That's right. You got two national championship rings. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got a you got a state championship ring as an assistant with East Ascension baseball. Yeah, I was an assistant coach at East Ascension High School in 2003. And you won one as a player at Santa Mall. I was actually on two state championship teams at Santa Mall. So, man, in 94, you've had a, you've yeah, had a life baseball wise. Yeah. What was what was it like winning that first championship at Santa Mall in baseball? What was that like for you as a kid back then? What was that? You know, growing up, I, I mean, I have earliest memories of going to Santa Mall High um, football games, <laughs> and so that's kind of where that love of Santa Mall came, and then got into baseball and um, baseball really became one of my favorite sports and I always had that goal of playing for the Santa Monica High baseball team. Then they started to have some success, won a couple of state championships um, prior to when I started playing and then I knew we had the talent uh, to continue that tradition and it was just it was a thrill to be part of it. I'm Great not players lie. have come out of Andy Sheets, Ben Sheets. Yep. Ben and I were um, Classmates, so. Jason Williams. Yep, Jason. A lot of good players come mm -hmm. out of there. A lot of, and then one went pro this past year. Blaine Elo, went yep. pro baseball at mm -hmm. a high school from Santa Mon. Yeah, uh, Reed Brignac Reed played Brignac. at Santa Mon High too. He was talent. in the big leagues for a while. Yep. And we've got some pictures of your 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 uh, company, Christian. We're going to go ahead and uh, try and put those up on uh, some videos. This is your place right here. Tell everybody about what we have here. Uh, yeah, so that's one of our therapists. Um, first was Keish and that's me. We're working with some young athletes just trying to teach them agility, speed, fundamentals, you know, just trying to do what we can to make them better athletes. Uh, we're going to continue on here. I mean, this is good stuff. I mean, you're hands on and I've, I've come in there to wait on to talk to you, mm -hmm. seeing you with, you're always busy. I mean, you're always seeing someone, always working with someone and uh, you can tell it's community. It's they, they're, you know, that's. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. One of our goals is to build a family fun atmosphere. You yeah. know, wanted, we wanted our patients to feel more like just patients. We want them to feel like family that they were valued, and so that's one of our goals is to you know treat them how they deserve to be treated. <clears throat> Christian, give out your phone number if they want to call your office for an appointment, um, if they, the number to call. Yeah, our number is 225-744-4878. Again, we're located in Prairieville. Um, we have a great location. And the um, address again? To the address is 17135 Ronald Road. Again, Prairieville, 70737. Before we go, tell everybody about LSU baseball. What's your thoughts on this team, the new team? I think this new team could be something special. Uh, that was, there's a lot of young freshmen that um, I think are going to do really well for us. And, um, you know, there's always going to be some freshman jitters, but I think as they continue to play, those kids are going to get a lot better. And I really look forward to seeing how the team is going to gel and hopefully make a good run toward We've the College World Series. We've got a minute left. What is your thoughts on baseball, Santa Mall, EA, Dutchtown? A lot of talent coming up. Yeah, I mean, we always have a lot of talent in Ascension Parish. Um, <coughs> baseball is one of the you know, strong suits of the parish. Kids love it. There's always a lot of talent coming through there. So definitely looking forward to seeing how they do. Support bourgeois physical therapy. I mean, they did the back cover of our magazine. Mm -hmm, yeah. uh, people will know that. All the mom and dads see that. Um, they're supportive of us and, and they're supporting you guys, all the kids out there that are coming up. And uh, any last thoughts that you want to talk about sports wise or your clinic or any, anything else? Yeah, I mean, I'd like to talk about my clinic a little bit. You know, um, like I said, we really try to focus on working with young athletes. Um, our goal is to get them better, not only athletically, but, you know, we try to be mentors and help them to be better people as well. Uh, you have one kid who signed with Louisiana Tech, I know that you're proud of, that, that has been coming to you, Deshaun Hall. Yeah, Deshaun Hall. Yeah, East he's, Ascension. Yeah, East, East Ascension, Ascension High. Man. Really good kid. Um, look forward to seeing how he's going to do up there in uh, La Tech. 
Christian, thank you for joining us. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, thanks for your support and people support Bourgeois Physical Therapy and Rehab. We'll be back in just a moment. Finally got me, Ben. What's that, Rick? The Clark Street Crater, the mother of all potholes. For decades, it's tormented the people of this town. <laughs> They try to fill it, but it always returns. Got me good. But you know, State Farm's got you, too. You ain't nothing! Are you trash-talking a pothole? Yep. Yeah, I am. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent Bill Barkas in Baton Rouge today. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. Your she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she she or she shed. She she? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent David Bryan in Walker today. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief Windows! Welcome back, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Lee Burkeen, your host. I want to thank former Michigan star Drew Dillio, who's now a state farm agent in Baton Rouge on O'Neill Lane. Drew, uh, it's a crazy. We did his highlight tape 17 years ago and uh, got an offer from Stanford. And I remember Tulane and then Michigan, big, big blue, offered him. He played skill position at slot receiver. It was a great player. Support Drew Dillio. Again, he's a big sponsor of our show here in Baton Rouge. Uh, I want to introduce uh, one of the great young coaches in the United States, not just Louisiana, the new head coach at McNeese State in Lake Charles, Sterling Gilbert, who's got a great resume. I mean, this man was an assistant at the University of Texas, at South Florida, longtime Texas high school coach, uh, and, and did a lot of great things. Uh, in Texas, Temple High School. There were some other high schools we'll talk about with Sterling. But Sterling, thanks for joining us. Yeah, I appreciate it. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Uh, really excited about being on and, and uh, excited about, you know, being throughout the state. You know, there's a tie here that you, you just never know until you talk in what I call our little green room. Um, and Byron Dawson, who's going to be on later, the, the head coach from Evangel Christian, great guy, known for years. We're talking about Louisiana players and Texas players, me, you, and Byron. And your real estate agent when you were in Texas at UT was a former Evangel Christian teammate of Byron Dawson's. His buddy, his best friend, Stevie Lee. Yeah, small world. Isn't and, crazy? Uh, yeah, I mean, small world and just, uh, you know, interesting. But obviously just, you know, everything's built on relations. And, and it's, it's nice to be able to tie, you know, tie people together. You coach Jimmy. How do you say his last name? Garoppolo. Garoppolo uh, who's, you know, had a great career with, you know, the Patriots, was such a great player that San Francisco spent big money, gave up a lot of draft picks to get him, got hurt. I know he'll be back and be okay, but was he the most talent quarterback that you coached or was there others? Uh, He's special. He's special. And, uh, you know, obviously when the Patriots took him, they took him for a reason, and those guys do a great job evaluating quarterbacks and was able to sit behind, you know, Tom Brady and learn, learn a lot of things. Uh, and then obviously what San Fran did with him 
and uh, you know, unfortunate about his injury this year, but he's, uh, you know, he is coming back. He's healthy. I know he's been working hard, but you know, he's a special kid, and he's probably the most accurate quarterback that I've ever coached. Uh, but a guy that just worked extremely hard, uh, had had great work ethic, and uh, you know, was a winner. So, coach, what's in the water in Austin, Texas, at Westlake? Drew Brees, <laughs> Nick Foles. And now Sam Efflinger, the quarterback yeah. from Texas. No, they pr they produce some some really good ones, and uh, you know they they've had a string of those guys. You know Todd Dodge, the head coach there, does a great job developing those guys. But yeah, you know for I guess there's some some quarterback juju in there, you know. Right. And uh, but but the, you know they <coughs> they put out some guys. I know LSU. Uh, you were one of their candidates if, uh, not too long ago uh, when they had hired Matt Canada. You were one of the names that came up at South Florida. Um, did a great job at South Florida, and what was your thoughts? I mean, that had to make you feel good that your name was coming up with all the jobs, and then for McNeese State to get you. I mean, one of the great young coordinators. Uh, I mean, what's what's the feeling, Lake Charles? They got to be. They're, no, they're, excited. They're serious. You know, uh, they're, they're serious. serious over they're there. passionate about football, and uh, just excited. I mean, we're excited about it. Uh, excited to be, you know, be uh, invested in the community right now, and and you know, more importantly, just in the state of Louisiana and you know just talking to coach Byron and and uh, you know just about we're about to get out here after spring ball and, and get on the road and start recruiting and spring recruiting and seeing coaches you know we we got a coaches clinic coming up just being able to get people on our campus uh, and, and put my staff and myself in front of in front of high school coaches and uh, but it's exciting uh, you know Lake Charles is a great place great community a place that loves football <laughs> passionate about you know about cowboy football so you know we're not far off from August being here they got a big club, quarterback club over there. Um, they take it serious. I've, I've spoken to that club, and you, they have four or five hundred men that come out. I mean, that's like a D1 oh, alumni yeah. group. No, there is. There, uh, the support's great. The support's there. Uh, it's a it's a great group of men and and women as well. That you know, they're just invested <laughs> in kids, and then that's mm -hmm. their whole their whole purpose is to help our program and help our programs there at McNeese run, and uh, you know, run run efficient, you know, efficiently. And uh, th those people do a great job. Coach, every coach has a different recruiting philosophy. Um, things change every five, ten years. And I know Louisiana is always going to be first for you, and obviously the Lake Charles area. And you have a lot of kids on the team from Welsh and Barb and um, from the whole area, Sulphur, a few kids from Sulphur. But what's your strategy outside of Louisiana? I mean, I know you got your Texas ties that mm -hmm. run real deep, but. Any any certain philosophy that you have as a coach? I know yeah, we can't but, talk about recruits, but yeah. recruiting. No, absolutely. I mean, number one, it's going to start in the, in the state of Louisiana, and then that's the thing we're excited about. Uh, you know, when we got hired, you get hired, uh, you know, kind of late. There was only a week left in that December signing, and which has changed a little, you know, things recruiting-wise. Uh, so we were able to have some guys committed and sign then, and then we had a few left over right there in January to sign in February. So we got on the road and, and uh, you know, went and recruited and, and – uh, you know, signed a really good class, but um, you know, it's going to be with relationships and evaluation. You know, getting to know people, uh, getting to know high school coaches, getting to know the kids. Uh, you know, we're going to talking about LSU and, and with Coach O. I mean, we're going to be with LSU quite a bit this summer uh, at their camps and just being able to evaluate and put our eyes on kids. And that's the number one thing uh, for us in the state of Louisiana, as well being in Texas, um, is just getting my staff and myself to, around high school coaches, around kids. And you know, evaluating them and, and uh, seeing you know who's it we're excited about and and uh, they can come play for us. Coach was a former two-time All-State quarterback at San Angelo, Texas. Uh, was a big-time quarterback in college. We're going to talk more about that later in the show. We're going to get Byron Dawson on. Then we're going to bring Byron and Coach together. That ought to be fun. We're going to have the head coach Sterling Gilbert from McNeese State with Byron. Byron's going to come on solo. We're going to bring Coach right back. Talk more about McNeese State. We'll be right back. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Gator like this can be scary. And this is pretty risky too. 
But do you know what's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. Louisiana Office Solutions Company is the complete answer for all your office products and janitorial supply needs. From supplies for school or your home office, to styrofoam cups for your restaurant, to pallets of paper and cleaning supplies for your business. Choose from a large selection of furniture from chairs to desks for office or home, traditional and contemporary styles, or work with our design team to create a complete furniture layout for your building. So call or come by Louisiana Office Solutions Company on Florida at Lobdell, where everyone is welcome. Finally got me, Ben. What's that, Rick? The Clark Street Crater, the mother of all potholes. For decades, it's tormented the people of this town. <laughs> they try to fill it, but it always returns. <laughs> got me good. But you know, State Farm's got you, too. You ain't nothing! Are you trash-talking a pothole? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent Jim Crane in Baton Rouge today. Welcome back, Lee Burkane, Louisiana Football Magazine. Be sure to check out Superior Grill. Coach, when you're in town recruiting, it's the best Mexican food in the state. They're in New Orleans on St. Charles Avenue, in Baton Rouge on Government Street, Highland Road now, and also, uh, uh, also in Shreveport, Line Avenue. Uh, but getting back to uh, Coach Sterling Gilbert, the new head coach, McNeese State Cowboys, uh, one of the better programs over the last 30 years in the Southland Conference which has some stiff competition. Lamar, um, Incarnate Word now is a big time program. Stephen F. Austin, the Texas schools, Sam Houston, Powerhouse, uh, Southeastern, Northwestern State, Nickel State. Coach, it's, it's competitive. Yeah, every Saturday you better show up to play. And uh, you know it's been that way for a long time and that conference, a great conference. Uh, but yeah, every Saturday you better show up to play and, and you know, great coaches and, and great players in the conference. What's the key to overtaking, you know, the throne of the Sam Houstons of the world? I mean, they have just had it locked and loaded being the guy in the conference. Yeah. And they, and, and they, they do get some of these D1 Texas transfers. But it's, it's unique, though, that there's some great players in 1AA. 100% there is. There's some uh, great players. Yeah, there is. And, you know, just being able to uh, to, to fill a team with talented kids and, and good kids and then, you know, having a staff that uh, with a, you know, high level of coaching and, and uh, you know, being able to mesh those two and, you know, put a great product on the field. West Texas native. Um, football, when I was growing up in the 80s, I looked at Texas besides Tommy Kramer, who went to Cowboys and the Vikings. They didn't run, they didn't throw the ball in Texas in the 80s. I mean, it was just like one, two, three, run, punt. <laughs> And it was like that in Louisiana. It was like that, except the West Coast, maybe. But in the 90s, it was still more of a run, run, run. And then 2000s came. And, Coach, you said about 2007, it really went big time in the state of Texas, right? Yeah, and I, I'm going to reach back. I'm going to go with one of my Louisiana ties. So my head coach in, in high school was a guy named Kyle Gandy that played at Louisiana Tech. And they were chunking okay. around when, when Coach was at Louisiana Tech, and, and he uh, – you know, he comes back to Texas. Dad was a longtime head high school coach there, Dan Gandy. And coach starts throwing around. Had a guy named Shea Marins uh, when he was at San Enzo Central. This was in the early 90s and then, you know, when I was playing. And, uh, you know, we were chunking around. And, and uh, I think that turn, you know, in Texas started uh, with some teams there in the early 90s. And then obviously as you fast forward to, you know, 08, 09, 10, somewhere around in there is when you really start to, to see that really – change and a pivotal change with it. And I think a lot of it had to be built on seven on seven. Yeah. And uh, you know that the first time that happened in Texas was actually my senior year in high school, which was 96, uh, was the first seven on seven meet, which was held in Austin. So I think ever since then, it just has evolved to what it is today. And uh, you know, and across the country, I mean, you just look up and mm -hmm. if you watch 10 <laughs> quarterbacks right now, uh, for the most part, probably nine or, or, or 10 out of 10 are going to be spread quarterbacks. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. it's, it's just kind of something that, that's, you know, throughout the country. 
When, when your friend was at Tech, I'll guarantee it was Tim Retay days. <laughs> yeah. Tim yeah. Retay was chunking around. He was man. chunking around. And everybody said, man, around. Tech, they are just crazy to throw the ball. Yeah. And now it's normal. Yeah, no doubt. It, it is. And, and uh, you know, the trigger man's the, the whole key with that. Um, you know, just kind of take the, the Super Bowl this past year with those two guys that are really talented. And it just it really trickles all the way down through college football and obviously in high school football as well. So college fans just want to win. They don't care what you run. McNeese, you, you, a little more throwing, maybe a little you know, more. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do what we've done here in the past, and you know we've been pretty balanced. Um, you know, being able to do the things that we've done, <laughs> chunking around and run the football. You know, I know a couple years ago we were sixth in the country in total offense. You know, ninth in rushing, tenth in points. So uh, we we like to be pretty balanced uh, with with what we do, but you know we we don't we also like throwing the ball down the field. <laughs> and you know, there's a. You know, there's a fine line between saying you're an RPO spread offense only team and then, like you said, balanced. I think a lot of teams are balanced that just use spread. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, yeah, I, I think so. And, and I mean, I think the word, you know, balance just means different things to different people. Uh, and, I, you know, I, I don't necessarily mean it, it's 12 passes, 12 runs. It's just, right, right. you know, with those RPOs, is really the balance is trying to get your good people the ball. Maybe you the know, matchup. Yeah, the matchups and just making sure at the end of the day you feel good about, you know, your guys, you want to get the football that they've touched it, you know, X amount of times. And, you know, at the end of the game, then, then, then you know, you, you see how that worked out. Sterling, did, did, Coach, did you recruit a lot in Louisiana for South Florida or UT? Did you have any? Did you know, you when I was at Texas, recruit? we did. We, we came down here and signed quite a few kids. Uh, when I was at Texas, we, you know, when uh, being at South Florida, we didn't reach over here to Louisiana. Uh, but, but, yeah, when I was at Texas, we did. They've got some good players at UT now from Louisiana. Malcolm Roach, good yeah, defensive Malcolm end. Malcolm one of them, yeah. Know his daddy, great guy. His daddy was an All-American at Grambling and played at Capitol. Um, they've got a defensive tackle from Destrehan that's going to probably start this year. And uh, they've got a couple of other ones that, that, that one's coming in. I can't, well, he's already signed. I can say it from Manny High School, a big Myron Warren, a big defensive end. But um, <clears throat> other than, uh, I mean, you haven't been at McNeese long enough to even try all the food, right? <laughs> I haven't. I've been able to, uh, there's a few places. The, sea, I've, the seafood. Yeah, I've had, I've had Daryl, so, you know, that kind of makes me an official, you know, person living in Lake Charles that I've had Daryl's. Seafood I've had Palace? The, I have not been to Seafood Palace yet, uh, but, but, you know, the, I do have a list, and obviously I, I, a lot of those need to get checked off here soon. But Coach, I'm going to tell you, I'll stop in Seafood Palace every time I come back from Houston. If you go there, you're going to sign a lot of autographs because <laughs> that is a McNeese LSU hangout. You oh, can yeah. find out anything that's going on in Lake Charles. Go in there. In football. Oh, yeah. Seafood well, the crawfish Palace. are moving right now, and, and uh, you know, there's a lot of people. Obviously in town, Mr. Bill is a great place as well, so. Uh, you know, there's several places I've been able to eat at, but great food, great people uh, there, there in Lake Charles. What do you think of the personnel that, that you have inherited, the players uh, coming in? You know, we're excited about it. I mean, number one right now, just about our culture. Those are the first things that we go in there and try to establish that we're in the process of establishing. Uh, La Familia is our deal. It's about us. It's about our family. It's the foundation of who we are, uh, learning trust, accountability, you know, sacrifice with each other. Uh, and then we're getting into spring ball here in, in March. Uh, start March the 12th, and that's when we'll really be able to find out our football team, uh, just skill set wise, where guys fit, where we want to put guys, and and how that's going to fit up. The old spring of experimentation. Can he play tight end? Can he play D end? Is he an O line and D line? And is he a safety or corner? Man, that's, that's all. It. Uh, coach, we're going to bring you back. We're bringing Byron in, but we're going to have some fun. When you come back, we're going to bring up Ed Arsron. I know you have both his boys on your team. His two of his sons. Yeah. They're Absolutely. pretty good football players. They are really good football players, great kids, and, you know, we're, we're excited those guys are with us. Coach, we'll have you back in a moment. Uh, that's Coach Sterling Gilbert, new head coach to McNeese. We're going to bring on Byron Dawson next. We'll be right back. Louisiana Office Solutions Company is the complete answer for all your office products and janitorial supply needs. From supplies for school or your home office, to styrofoam cups for your restaurant, to pallets of paper and cleaning supplies for your business. Choose from a large selection of furniture from chairs to desks for office or home, traditional and contemporary styles, or work with our design team to create a complete furniture layout for your building. So call or come by Louisiana Office Solutions Company on Florida at Lobdell, where everyone is welcome. 
Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Handling a gator like this can be scary, and this is pretty risky too. But do you know what's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888. Or go to getgordon.com. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Welcome back, Lee Burkeen, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We're going to bring Coach Sterling Gilbert back on with Coach Byron Dawson, Evangel Christian from McNeese State. Uh, we're going to have a good time. I mean, he coaches two of Ed Argeron's sons. Wow. Uh, one's a quarterback, one's a receiver. Um, interesting uh, history those kids had. One was a tennis player in high school, too, at Mandeville that became a quarterback. Uh, but uh, I want to introduce, and he's a longtime friend, uh, remember, when he was in high school and I went to a game at Evangel to go see players play and back in a time when that's what you did. You went to the game, right. stay the whole game, evaluate. And I remember Byron and Stevie Lee, the late Cole Pittman and Philip uh, Geiger, the D that BB that went to UT. We've been saying UT a lot. That, yes. that UT was big back then with yes, Evangel. It was. It but was. Byron, thanks for joining us again. I mean, Thank this you is so maybe much. your fourth fifth time on the oh, show. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's great and Lee, you know, as always, you've done a great job in the state promoting kids and pushing football and I'm just happy to be here. All the way from Shreveport, Louisiana. That's right. Your wife is from Baton Rouge. That's right. So you're, just for the Baton Rouge audience, you still come down a lot. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm making that track a lot and it's a fun track and have roots here and played for the Tigers and um, had a great career there. And so it was just always good to come back to, to Baton Rouge. I remember visiting with you like week eight or nine this past football season. And I brought you one of these Louisiana seasons. And the first thing you said was, I know the Pizzolatas. I, I used That's to, you right. were at Redemptors for a long time. Yes, yes. And that family was great supporters of the school. And uh, Tony's was right across the street. So yeah, spent some time over there. I said, there. did you want, you? yeah, I want the. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Um, your current team, we've got some film on one of your top junior quarterbacks, Blake Shapin. Mm -hmm. But we want to show film on your senior big time sleeper running back. Right. Taji Sloan, mm -hmm. big time. Yes. I agree time. with that, not just because I know you. Right. But his, his ability from his junior year to his senior, most guys top out their junior year, but this is, you got here, what a compact, power, yes. vision, yeah. strong, determined kid. Complete running back. And you know, we've had a great tradition of having uh, superb tailbacks come through Evangel, but this is probably the best we've had in our school history. And uh, it didn't matter who we were playing, uh, top ranked national ranked teams from all over the country. Uh, he was the same, he was consistent. Strong legs. Yes, yes, good balance just as fast uh, sideways as he would be going forward. And so I think that uh, whoever gets this kid is going to get a big time Look at player. That. Most guys go down, he takes that hit. He yeah, great balance, going. great balance and speed. And he has a gear to, you know, take it to the house once still he breaks. Still unsigned. Yeah, still unsigned. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a great opportunity for uh, Tamad for sure. And he carries his weight really well, Byron. I mean, what, pushing yes. 200 pounds? Yes, 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 and carries it well and 
strong against kid. Against Bird, the game I went to this year yep. to see you great, play. Great in the weight room. He averaged 12.5 yards a touch. This was the run. I'm on the sidelines. I'm going, hmm. Yes. Whoa, okay. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, quality competition. This is uh, North Little Rock that you're watching right there. A uh, couple of shots before that was Duncanville, Texas, state runner-ups in 6A, Texas. Now, he's got the Kevin Falk built, not tall, but right. who cares? Yeah. I mean, special. He's a special player. Oh, yeah. Player. Kevin Falk was one of my teammates in college. He was amazing. Amazing with the ball in his hand. And so, yeah. And, Coach, nobody wants to play the team that you're, you're at school, non-district. Right. So it's all national top ten teams. That's right. It's amazing the teams y'all play, East St. Louis High. Yes. From Illinois. Right, yeah. They come East. down number one in Illinois. Yeah. Yes, yes. We Top played. Duncanville, Texas. Yeah, St. Joseph Prep, Phil, uh, Philadelphia, <laughs> Philadelphia I mean. comes in and plays, flies in. And so, you know, <coughs> this is something fun for our kids to have that experience and parents, you know, you kind of get that Division One college feel in high school. You know, two years in a row we played Allen, Texas, $60 million stadium, most expensive high school Built stadium in the world. Yeah, high school stadium in the world. And uh, to go on that, to play in front of tens of thousands of fans, that was big time. Now, I want to, we want to show off your junior quarterback, Blake Shapin, who's sure. 220 guy. Yes. For parents out there, he's got another year. He's right. also a top baseball prospect. But he sure. really came on this year, Coach. Yes, he did. Uh, Denny Duran did a great job of just training him and, and cultivating his, his, his tool set and just uh, getting him and taking his game to a whole nother level. But he has an amazing arm. He can sling it. That's Ruffins, who's still available yes. too. Your, yes. Your stud slot receiver. That's right. Um, he can throw the out pass. Yes. He can. He can make any throw inside, outside, at any time. He has a real quick release. Uh, he's considered one of the top ranked shortstops in the country. Uh, several power five. That's offers a hard pass to throw, Byron, as you know. Oh yes, for sure, for sure. And, Timing uh, pass at the line of scrimmage. Yes, and uh, he has one of the best arms we've had to come through our school. Where do you, where do, what do you think his upside is, Byron, compared to all John David Booty, Josh Booty, Brent Rawls, all those guys? What do you, how would you? Well, well, I, I just think Blake has. A, he's very accurate, and he has a quick release. And we've had several college coaches and and scouts to talk <coughs> about his release and. The word that they use is freakish, you know, kind of freaky mm -hmm. release that he can get the ball out of his hand that fast with that type of velocity behind it. And he's not pushing the ball. Yeah, not pushing it, can, you know, easily throw it 40, 50 yards without right. yeah. just flicking the wrist. That's right. Not many high school kids can do that. We're going to have Blake on later in the show to talk to us. Uh, he'll be the final segment. Um, Byron, we got about a, about, 10 seconds left, but okay. we're going to come back. Sure. We're going to have you and Coach Gilbert together. We're going to have some fun. Perfect. We're going to keep promoting McNeese State, Evangel Christian. That's right. We'll be right back in just a moment. America's neighborhood drain expert. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. Your she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she shear she shed. She shear? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent David Wilcox in Gonzales today. 
Handling a gator like this can be scary. And this is pretty risky too. But do you know what's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. Welcome back. Lee Burkeen, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We were talking to Coach Byron Dawson. Uh, his senior running back Sloan is phenomenal. Um, but um, I'm going to get back with Coach Sterling Gilbert from McNeese State and uh, talk about McNeese. And uh, I want to go ahead and get some questions in because, you know, Baton Rouge is where we air the show. But it goes to Shreveport. It goes to Lake Charles. Goes goes all over the state. But you have – it's very unique that you got a current head coach at LSU. You inherit – you get the McNeese job and you got your quarterback – his dad's the LSU head coach. I mean, and then you got a receiver who's a pretty good receiver who's his other son. Yeah. Talk about the two Orgeron uh, kids. Yeah, two great kids. You know, we're obviously very excited. Just kind of what we were talking about with spring ball. Excited to get those guys on the field and see uh, exactly their skill set and, and, you know, how we're going to utilize them. Uh, but Coach O, he's been great, um, you know, since, since I got the job and, and I've been able to talk to him several times. And, and uh, those guys have uh, been, you know, their hospitality has been great for myself and my staff at LSU, uh, the accessibility that they've given us. So, you know, really excited about that relationship. And obviously, you know, when you got a guy, uh, two of his boys are on your team and, and uh, you know, you're able to reach out to him and, uh, you know, get, get any kind of information or, or advice is, is always, uh, you know, crucial as well. So very excited about that relationship. Coach, anything in the works to work together with LSU for some camps? I know we can't talk about recruits, but camps in general? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to be with those guys uh, the vast majority of the summer. So, um, you know, I know we're going to uh, start with the, the one that's uh, with Tulane uh, there in May, and okay. then we'll be with those guys quite a bit uh, at all their, all their camps on their campuses. So uh, it just gives us an opportunity, uh, number one, to be around the kids and, and evaluate and see it in high school coaches as well. So we're really excited about that. What, what about the upside of Cody at quarterback for you? I mean, what's uh, what do you think of where he's at right now? And yeah, you know, it just it's early right now. Uh, yeah. You know, just waiting to get to March 12th, the first day of spring right. practice, and see those guys slinging around and those guys are working really hard right now, as a, a lot of his teammates are as well. But uh, just excited to you know put the pads on and go go slinging around and, and just see exactly where we are and where you know where we need to be. Byron, you got spring around the around the corner in the block too. I mean, that's you get about a month off right. to relax, and then bam, you're right at it again. Yeah, and you know, the big thing is just working on fundamentals, getting better at the little things, and watching guys grow, you know, going out there and uh, taking care of business. You know, all season is important also. You know, guys in the weight room working on their strength, getting strong and getting quicker and faster. You know, the state championships have always been played at the Dome. Any thoughts on your your opinion on it, uh, Byron? About does the stay at the dome or not the dome? I mean, it. Well, you know, the dome was always a target. You know, that's one of the greatest venues in the world to play football in, and so it was very disappointing to lose that. But you know, one thing that we teach our kid is focus on the things you can't control, and that's something that we can't control. Right. But you know, we can control getting better every day, taking care of our business in the classroom, and focus on getting scholarships and winning championships. And so that's what we're focused on. Coach, uh, for a college coach, it's going to be a little different now because all championships are not going to be in one place. And it's hard enough to get to a place and see everybody. And then you right. got to, it's all going on at the same time. You know, it might be that way this yes. year where all your championships are at different schools. That's got to be something. That's a whole new boardroom meeting there with your staff. Yeah, right? absolutely. I mean, you're going to have to you know, have a plan and split guys up. But, but just like Coach saying, um, you know, it's, it's kind of unfortunate because it is. It's use Coach's word. It's a target. Right. You know, when you sit down there with your kids right now in off offseason, you know, that's your target to get to the dome. Right. And, uh, you know, so you're obviously going to have to, to change, you know, from our perspective of being able to see those games and stuff. We'll, we'll change that a little bit. Uh, but, you know, for the, for the high school coaches and, and for the kids, I mean, ultimately, you know, they're still going to be battling to get to that game, you know. Right. The, the Texas coaches, Coach Gilbert, uh, what do you think about the way it's aligned for them now in Jerry's World Stadium and, you know, 
in, in Dallas Cowboys Stadium, they play the high school championships. Do you like that venue? Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a great venue. Just like Coach said, it's a, I think it's the you know, same way in Texas yeah. as guys talk about, uh, you know, as you, in Louisiana talking about getting to the Dome there, they talk about getting the Texas Stadium. And I, and I think it's, it's always the, the last place you want to be. And if you're playing in that place and that stadium, you know, in December, then, then you've done a lot of things right. Uh, so I think it's a great venue. I, you know, I like how it's set up when everybody's there and, you know, they start those games, I think, on uh, Wednesday or Thursday uh, with the six-man games first and then going all the way up. I mean, it just brings community together, uh, you know, kind of the state together and, and allows people to go, you know, sit and watch a lot of football in one day. Wow. Record crowds, man, in two states. Sure, I mean, 100%. It, you know, no offense to the small states that we have in the United right. States, but Louisiana and Texas, they're, they're king, right. you know. I know Alabama's pretty good, but I still don't think it's anywhere near Texas and, and Louisiana. And man, Texas is like eight states, and when they come together, it's incredible. And Louisiana's, uh, what, about 5% the size of Texas, and yes. it's just, it's amazing the people that love football That's right. in Louisiana and Texas. Uh, Byron, anything you'd like to see change in the future from refereeing to scheduling to off season? Anything change that to better the coaches, the kids in the future? Well, you know, I just think uh, I just think that, you know, more transparency, more information is always good. Uh, I, you know, I, I know there's a lot of things that can always improve. And so, you know, for us, you know, we just we just want to we just want to uh, go out and compete, and get better. I know we've had some issues scheduling games. And so that's always a tough challenge every year, and it costs us a lot of money to travel and go around and find teams to play. And so, you know, those are the areas that I like to see some improvement in for sure. Segment talk, uh, Coach. You have a pretty difficult uh, non-conference opponent coming up, Oklahoma State. You're familiar with those guys. Yeah, we played those guys. You know, when I was at Texas, and you know, still Coach Gundy, Yeah, and those guys have done a great job. So it's a you know tough venue to play in there. Uh, and it, it, uh, it's still water, but, um, you know, we're just, just excited about getting the spring ball. And, I mean, we're going to take them one week at a time. You know, we open up with Southern at home. You know, that'll be our number one priority and uh, where, where we start the season at. So what are you most excited about, Coach, when it comes to football? I mean, you've been a quarterback your whole life. You've coached. I mean, you never left the game. What, what, what do you love most about football? Just the competitive nature of it, uh, it, you know, you get us an opportunity to bring out the best in people, uh, bring out the best in kids, and then just, you know, from a coach's standpoint, uh, just being able to daily have an influence on, on young people. And, you know, that ultimately with what we do, I mean, that, that's our job, just helping young people win. And every day we've, we've got that opportunity, uh, we've got that influence, and, and to, to be a, you know, a high school coach, uh, to be a college coach, I mean, I think it's a great time, it's a very special time in a time that couldn't, you know, be better to be that. When you got when you got coach in front of your name, you know, it's unique, it's special and, and you know, every day you got an opportunity to to uh, to influence and help somebody change and, and uh, you know that that's what we do on a daily basis just as coach and his staff does. So, you know, it's just in you. It's in your blood and and uh, it's hard to get out, you know. Yeah, and coach, I know you're going to do a great job. The Cowboy fans are ecstatic right now. They are fired up. Everybody I know from McNeese, I got a few McNeese friends. They are just pumped that, that you have been hired as their new coach. Good luck to you this year, Byron. Good luck to you with Evangel coming Thank up. You. It's always tough, but it's always fun. That's right. And uh, sure. y'all not going to leave empty handed at Louisiana Fish Fry and Superior Grill gift certificates. We got one more segment with our star recruit. Don't change the channel. We'll be right back. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. 
install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief Windows! Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Yeah. Frog drain. Call Roto Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. <sighs> Finally got me, Ben. What's that, Rick? The Clark Street Crater, the mother of all potholes. For decades, it's tormented the people of this town. <laughs> they try to fill it, but it always returns. <laughs> got me good. But you know, State Farm's got you, too. You ain't nothing! Are you trash talking a pothole? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent Bill Barkas in Baton Rouge today. Handling a gator like this can be scary. And this is pretty risky, too. But do you know it's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888. Or go to getgordon.com. Welcome back. Uh, I want to thank the Ryder Clinic. They're, they sponsor our Recruit of the Week segment so we can show the film every week of our recruit. Our recruit this week is Blake Shapin, who's a 220 quarterback from Evangel Christian in Shreveport. Blake has a cannon arm. He's uh, being coveted by not just football, but all those baseball coaches in America. Blake, thanks for joining us, man. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. All the way from Shreveport, Louisiana. And uh, your dad, man, y'all originally from California, so you've got West Coast Ties yeah. there, your dad's from, from California, your parents? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. He's from uh, California. I'm from Shreveport, but yeah, he, he grew up a surfer, so. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> surfer all the way yeah. to Shreveport, and now, you know, what's, what's your thoughts about baseball, football? I mean, you, you're a very good quarterback, man. You're one of, you're one of the top quarterbacks, I think, in the country next year. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's baseball, so yeah. how do you juggle those two? How it's it's. Um, Right now, I kind of like both the same, so I'm kind of just working both, like how I would, uh, I don't know, just just working out the same like I would for football or for baseball. So just kind of keeping it the same right now. Your freshman year in high school, you were offered by a major D1 baseball program. Mm -hmm. Who was that program? It was LSU. Freshman in high school. Mm -hmm. You were yes, what, 14, 13? I was 15. Unbelievable. Yes, man. sir. Yes, sir. Um, and you said you like football just as much. Mm -hmm. I like football pretty much the same. Uh, football brings like a different, like I guess, mentality to it. Baseball is kind of more of a slower game. Football is more kind of up, up pace and moves faster, so it gets my adrenaline going. Here's a question for you, and if, if you need more time to think about it, we'll go back to it, but who is your favorite baseball, football athlete that did each? It made um, it work. Probably uh, Deion Sanders, maybe. Deion. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. What do you think about Kyler Murray? I like Kyler Murray a lot. So. And he chose football. He chose football. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody said it was going to be MLB, MLB, and in the, right. in the end, mm -hmm. right. uh, he must have consulted the Seattle Seahawks quarterback, Russell Wilson. Because Russell at five, what, nine, ten? Mm -hmm. Yes. Made a great career. Now you're, you know, you're six one and some change, yes, sir. and you have a chance to to go anywhere you want, probably for football or baseball. I've got. We want to get some more highlights. We showed some earlier, but let's get his uh, Blake Shapin's highlights up. We want to show some more film and look. Talk about who you're playing and in the film when it comes up and and what sure. you think you need to work on. But we're going to go ahead and bring that film up for Blake Shapin, <coughs> Evangel Christian, uh, two twenty. This is John Curtis right here. That was the playoffs, right? Yeah, it was the playoffs right here. Man, that was a heck of a throw over the middle. Mm -hmm. 
scrambling out. Same, John Curtis. You've got the feet in the pocket, man. That's a very underrated part of your game, I think. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Setting your feet, man. You're not, you're not you're calm, too. Coach mm -hmm. Dawson, I mean, oh, yeah. calm presence to him. Yes, calm presence. Uh, ice water in his veins. You know, great leader on and off the field. Does a great job in the classroom, high character guy. Uh, you flick the wrist here on that out pass. It's hard mm -hmm. to throw. Yes, sir. There's a bowl screen right there. Good touch over the shoulder, throw in the end zone. And look, I know that uh, that was a very tough loss for Coach Dawson, you and the whole team, but you mm -hmm. got a year left. Yes, sir. Right. And so you, yeah. you and you guys, you got a lot of good talent coming back. Yeah. That's right. Moving and uh, y'all have a chance to be in this again to get to the For sure. state championship game. For sure. Um, man, that's, that's, that's wanting it, you know, yeah. running the ball. But this is a part of your game I don't think people see unless they go watch you play. Your For feet, sure. your scrambling ability. Byron, I think they sometimes, that's maybe lost in all this. Oh, yeah. If you For don't sure. run a 4 or 5, they don't think you can right. move around in the pocket. Yeah, but you know, you know, to have a poise that he has and the presence, that's rare, for sure. So what do you like most about football, Blake, besides being a competitor? I mean, I know that you compete. Mm -hmm. um, what do you need to work on? I mean, your arm's strong. I mean, you've got touch now. I mean, you move well. But what, what's the number one thing you think you need to keep? Uh, I want to grow more on the mental side of the game. I mean, I already know some stuff, but I keep on – I want to know some more about different coverages and what's – the best beater in that coverage or whatever, but and I definitely want to get faster too. So, so it's early, but this is we'll have fun with this real quick. Tell me who you like in baseball. If baseball ended tomorrow for recruiting. Who do you like in baseball, college wise? <sighs> if you want to throw out a couple of guys, that's fine. All right, uh, I guess LSU, Auburn, Arkansas right now. And then football. Um. I could. I can't tell you. It's hard. Right. Oh, I wide mean, open. and they all want to work with you with the two sports, right? They <laughs> yeah. all want to work. Yeah, with they you. do. Yeah. So, Blake, best of luck to you, man. Are you going to do a great job? You got a year left. You're just coming in your own. I mean, you, right. last year was your mm -hmm. first real full mm -hmm. year of really throwing it a lot. Sophomore, yeah. you played a little bit, but right. Byron, congratulations. I know Thank you got. You're going to be in this, like all of us, until That's we're. Right. Old, 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 man. That's it's it. the love of the game. But That's right. You're watching Louisiana Football Magazine. Guys, be careful getting back. I want to right. thank Coach Sterling Gilbert, McNeese State. Um, also, Christian Bourgeois with Bourgeois Physical Therapy. We'll see you next week.